Hey guys, um, today I'll be teaching you how to make a reflection. Well, here's a reflections guide. Uh, I got a method right here, or more of a class that holds my methods and some information inside of it. And I'm going to be getting this information inside this without even calling this. So what we can do, it's called a reflection, and it's pretty cool. So, um, we're going to do class. We're going to name this CLS for class equals class dot for name. And we're going to define the name. Um, we could also probably do something like equals class dot that and then something like that. I don't know how that really works, but you could do something to try to figure out all the classes inside of it, which would be pretty cool. So we're going to make a method list, which holds all the methods, and then we're also going to get uh, the fields, which is these, and I'll be teaching how to deal with them, and I'll be teaching how to get these. So let's go ahead and start with getting the methods, because we're already starting on that. But first, we need to do a try catch statement. Um, catch throw a bullet e. Um, System dot out of print ln get message. All right, now we can go here and redo this. Okay. Now we're gonna want to make a methods list, so let's just make an array of methods, and we're gonna. Inside of that, they're actually going to be. Well, we need the class that get declared classes or methods. Import method. Um, what this is doing is just getting a list of the methods and putting in the array. We can do something like this, which does. Um, we're just going to print out the class name. So, class name would be uh, method list is on zero. It's always going to be zero for that one. Declaring class. And now we, have, we can do, um, well, we could work with fields, but we also work with the method. Uh, the methods are really easy to get. It's just a for and for next loop, so we're going to do for and i equals zero. i is method list dot length i plus plus. And now we're going to do system dot out print on method name list i dot get name. And what this will do is just print off all the things inside here, which you can see add and subtract. Um simply add another one like private static void um heal and health equals zero house plus plus I don't know but now go ahead and call this and I'll show you know, which is really cool so now we can go ahead and learn how to kind of deal with well more like manipulate this so we can actually get it inside of our program so we're just going to want to get rid of this right here because we don't really need the methods list anymore it's uh, not really needed for us as tutorial but I guess if you want to keep it in there you can but um, I'm not doing that so now what we need is we're going to need a field and this is what holds all the 
information. They call it fields. This is a data structure. And um, it's just that easy. That gets all of them, puts it into fields. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually do for int i equals 0 i fields dot length i plus plus. And you need to do it just like that. Otherwise, I don't know why, but it doesn't always work. So now we can just do that. We can do some like system dot out dot print ln field fields dot to string. I don't know. And that could maybe possibly uh yeah that outputs a little bit of information that outputs this and this saying that it is something but it's not really completely there yet so um fields i hopefully this makes it work better okay here it is public static and methods dot kool-aid dot login um since i will say the thing so now we know what they are. It doesn't work if they're like private or protected. Don't know why, but uh, let's deal with Kool Aid. Let's just get the information about it and put it into our own little thing. So we're gonna do a field called Kool Aid, and we're gonna do equals class dot get field. And we're just going to put that information now that we have it. So that will get our info. Now we're going to need something to hold the information into it because it really we can't really just print it from that. Let's kind of convert it. So Kool-Aid dot get, uh, get int Kool-Aid. And now we can actually just go ahead and do system dot print ln and then Kool Aid equals plus Kool Aid int something like that. And you can see that right here it says one twenty five and it is one twenty five. Actually, I don't even think we have to do that. Um, let's if we can just do that. Okay. Yep. Oh no, we can't do that. Because I don't know why, but I don't really know how to do it. But this is the best way to do it, and we can change it up if we have to like get boolean uh, login, and it'll display as false, of course. And that's pretty much the basics to how to get the information, how to deal with it. And then of course you could always call it, and then like maybe modify it if you had to, whatever. But this is good for maybe like making. This is how. Our spot works kind of. I guess the information from RuneScape's like main game thing, so that holds like your player X, Y, and Bo, and all that good stuff, and then allows them to read it through our spot, which they code it to determine everything, so it will be able to like read the X, Y, so that way you can create locations and see if your bot's spotting yet or see what it's doing so that way that's how it can get the animations and where you're at and what you're doing and if your bank's open or not you know 
all that stuff. Um, that's pretty much like the whole thing right there. That's how that works, and it's really useful and cool, and something that not many people have on YouTube to teach. So I hope this guide helped you guys out a lot because I know it helped me uh, from reading up on a lot of stuff, and this guide would have helped me if I would have been able to watch it. So hopefully you guys learned something from this. I'll be putting links in the description for more guides that I found on the internet, just some simple little things that you can use to learn more about reflection. So yeah, and then another cool thing I'm working on is called XMC. I don't even know if I could use it right now. It's a Minecraft reader and it reads information about Minecraft. Uh, which is really cool too. So uh that one's a little bit still in the making, but it's gonna be really cool when I'm done. It's gonna be able to edit information on the fly and it's gonna be really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video guide on how to work with reflection. If you guys enjoyed this, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And, you know, if you need any help or get any questions, please post it in the comments. Thanks for watching. See ya.